So here we have an addition table, and this will help us practice adding single digit numbers to two digit numbers. So we need to look left and then up to see what we're adding. So here, if we look to the left, we have 28, and if we look up, we have 6. So we need to work out 28 plus 6. So if we start at 28, we need 2 more to get to 30, but that's adding 2, and we need to add 6. Because 6 is 4 more than 2, we need to add 4 more. So because we added 2, then added 4, we added 6 altogether, and that gives us our answer, 34. So now for this box here, what do we need to work out? We need the answer to 28 plus 9. Again, if we start by adding to make the next multiple of 10, we can add 2 to get 30, but then we need to add 7 more, because if we added 2, then added 7, we have added 9 altogether, and that gives us our answer, 37. Now, for this box here, we need to start on 28 and add 7. Adding 2 takes us to 30, so then we need to add another 5, because adding 2 and then adding 5 is the same as adding 7, so our answer is 35. Now for this box here, if we look left we have 66, and if we look up we have 6. So we need to work out 66 plus 6. If we start on 66, we can add 4 to get to the next multiple of 10 to get to 70, but if we've added 4, and we want to add 6, we need to add 2 more, because adding 4 and then adding 2 is the same as adding 6. So our answer is 72. So now that you've got the idea, you might want to pause the video and see if you can complete this addition table. So here we have 66 plus 9. Starting on 66, we can add 4 to get to 70, and then add another 5, because that means we have added 9 altogether, so we have 75. Now, for 66 plus 7, starting on 66, we can add 4 to get to 70, and then add another 3, because that means we have added 7 altogether, so we have 73. Now for this box, if we look left, we have 75, and if we look up, we have 6. So we need to work out 75 plus 6. Starting on 75, we know that adding 5 will take us to 80, and then we just need to add one more, because that means we've added 6 altogether. So our answer is 81. Now to work out 75 plus 9, we can add 5 to get to 80, then add 4. Because if we add 5 and then add 4, that means we have added 9 altogether. So we have 84. And finally, for 75 plus 7, we can start on 75 Add 5 to make 80, then add another 2, because that means we have added 7, so our answer is 82. So now that we've completed the table, you might want to pause the video and see if you can spot any patterns. So here's an interesting one. If you look at the numbers going across, the numbers in the middle column are always 3 more than the numbers in the first column. So 37 is 3 more than 34. 75 is 3 more than 72. 84 is 3 more than 81. Why do we get that pattern? Well, 
it's because 9 is 3 more than 6. So if we add 9, our answer will always be 3 more than if we add 6. And you might also notice that the numbers in the last column are always 2 less than the numbers in the middle column. So 35 is 2 less than 37, 73 is 2 less than 75, 82 is 2 less than 84. So why are the numbers in the last column always 2 less than the numbers in the middle column? Well, that's because 7 is 2 less than 9. So if you add 7, you'll always have 2 less than if you add 9. Or putting it another way, if you add 9, you'll always have 2 more than if you add 7.